hope you're doing well. This is a touch of tarot, and this is going to be an oh boy reading. So let's get right into this and see exactly what the topic is on the third party today. If you'd like any information, including my Patreon info is below. That's where the extendeds are. So the topic today is about avoiding change. Um, we have someone here literally stuck in a little, um, let's just call it a little, uh, why do I want to say a cul-de-sac? I don't know if someone lives in a cul-de-sac, but they're stuck on top of this huge rock. And the truth is, this is a mermaid. This person could definitely jump. I do see at the bottom of the deck, the love card. And I feel like someone is avoiding jumping on that ship. It's like there's, you know, they could jump, they could swim over to that ship and be rescued. Um, but there's someone avoiding this and they're trapped in fear by the looks of it. They're trapped in their own fear. So this is the main topic of the reading. And we're going to dig deeper into how your person is looking at the karmic situation and how the karmic situation is viewing your person. So first card to come out, we do have the two of pentacles here. So you're dealing with someone that's really unsure about what they want to do. Um, they're actually afraid to go into the new and it's more comfortable for this person to, you know, run to safety in their home or in what they know. Um, it's really interesting. So there's your person here is really um, not into making a decision or not ready at this time. This is a Cinderella energy. It's like maybe they built this fairy tale life for themselves. Maybe they came from, you know, the gutter, from something really harsh and just unfair in a sense, you know? I feel like the person you're dealing with, they figure they have a plan. They figure they're going to be able to deal with this. They're going to know what to do or they do know what to do. Um, but they're not sharing it. They're not talking about it. Why? Because I feel like the plan is no good without actions. And once they speak on their plan, of course, they're supposed to follow through. I feel like the plan this person has is really in their head at this time. They do want to let go of the past. They do want to move forward, but they are still loyal to the past as well. There's like this connection to the past um, that they're just... They're still stuck in, literally, okay? So definitely your person is not being honest with the karmic, not telling the karmic everything, every way that they're feeling. Let's move this out a little so you can see better. Um, they're not really being upfront about the situation. We have the moon card. And what they're not being upfront about is that they want to leave this situation and also um, that they're hurt staying in this situation and also that they have found love elsewhere. So your person is not speaking of this. Uh, they are avoiding making this decision, going into the unknown, being rescued technically, because they'd literally, literally rescue themselves if they could just take that jump okay so that's interesting let's get one more card for this right now and we'll come back to it but i want to look into the karmic but let's just see one more card about this energy of your person avoiding being honest really is what it is avoiding saying their truest desires because once they speak it they kind of have to do it so we have the three of cups um this is normally for me about manipulation. However, it was clearly in the reverse when I picked it up. And I feel like this person does not want to be manipulative. They, It's not their truest desire to do that. Uh, you know, though it may come across that way, I feel that this person just does not know how to make the decision they want to make, which is to leave this circus that they are in right now. <clears throat> also to leave the manipulative situation they are in right now. And I really feel that they want to leave it right now. Like this year, they wanted to leave it last month. They wanted to leave this like probably last year. Okay, so let's look into the karmic. I mean, it's only as long as they avoid it, it's only 
getting closer and closer to a tower moment is what I pick up, okay? So let's see the karmic overall energy or what's going on with this karmic. Okay, we do have the full card here. So this is someone who's very focused on what they want, um, is what I get here. Painting this picture that everything is okay. If you can see this full card, it is someone painting a picture or painting, you know, flowers on the tree, pretending that the family situation is healthy, pretending that they have everything they want. Um, but deep inside, I can see that this karmic is quite aware that this relationship, the happiness of this relationship is actually over. And the reason um, that there's anything here is due to finances. But this karmic is really good at looking like things are, are good, plain and simple. I also feel like this karmic um, is a bit in their own world, so they are enjoying life. They are getting what they want, though they may not be receiving love from your person. Um, they're able to fulfill their needs. This is what I'm getting here for the full card. I also feel like whoever the karmic is, uh, is quite... It's not that they're immature. Maybe that's like, you know, that's not the best description for it. But they're just good at avoiding issues and acting like everything is okay here. Okay, so let's see. And this may be an issue because if we have two people, you know, one is avoiding speaking the truth and the other is avoiding uh, speaking that they see that things are not going well. You know, it must be real uncomfortable around there, around the home. Okay, so let's see what else we get for this karmic energy. Here we go. The Ace of Pentacles. So like I said, though this karmic definitely knows, um, you know, what was once here is no longer. Two tens sticking out very strong. Um, though, you know, they are very aware of this. Like I said, they paint a picture. And, and you know, I'm hearing like bl blood money. Um and it's not that, you know, this is illegal money or illegal abundance, but this person in some ways is selling their soul. They're, they're avoiding their true passion because of money here. This um, energy I'm also seeing, like, may have been quite bright and quite, you know, it is that full energy that is very innocent energy, but I feel like it's depleting. I feel like... It's wearing this person out. So that's what happens when you, you know, you don't follow your truth. You do. It will show on you. It will show in your life in one way or another. So, yeah, this person is basically selling themselves for security. Let's get another card for this karmic situ or the karmic, the karmic energy. So once again, um, it's really an energy of acting like everything's all right, avoiding the tower. I have the nine of cups at the bottom, but the tower um, fully stuck out. And under the nine of cups, I am seeing the death card and the ten of pentacles there. So once again, on the bridge of sorrow, um, this is the five of wands. These are two people that actually don't argue. And you know why they're not arguing is because if they actually had an argument, the topics would have to get brought up. So both people here are very unhappy on this bridge. They know that there's an ending in the near future. Like it's it's written all over their energies. But they're avoiding it. This woman in this description says, hey, can we just go home and talk and have a cup of tea? And this man is really not even speaking at all. It's just the woman saying, I don't know if you're my friend. I don't know if you're my brother, my father. You're, you're someone in my life. Like, But can we just go home and act like everything's normal? This person really does want to live in La La Land. Some of them may be living in LA. Um, Nine of Cups energy here. This person really does want to avoid that there is nothing more here that is fulfilling. There really isn't. This person is uh, very much so lying to themselves. But the issue is, as I said, two people not speaking about the actual um, problem. How is anything going to get solved? Let's get one more for the karmic. 
so yeah, we have the Queen of Wands. Now, it came in reverse, but I mean, it fell. So um, point being, whether this person is happy or not in their element or not, the karmic here may be quite creative. They may be um, like, you know, because I'm seeing the art energy here. Um, anyhow, the karmic may also like to put on a show and act like everything is okay. I already mentioned that. Um, but it's a block energy. This Queen of Wands for me is a very strong block as she has the, the blocker up. Like, you can't get past this, you know. Um, even, like, I feel like this karmic truly avoids the conversations in the sense if if something was a problem, I almost feel like this karmic would make a joke of it and be like, no one can get past the doorway until they're happy. Put a smile on. Like, something like this. Like, complete an utter oblivion, oblivious energy to the problem, but they're not oblivious. They actually do know. Um, no one really sees the truth here, but I do see the karmic is very upset, very drained, um, keeping it to themselves. And what I'm getting as well is the karmic would love to leave this situation and follow their own dreams. I'm seeing eight of cups, the empress, nine of swords here, um, but they don't. They don't. Instead, you know, this is what's going on. So I'm going to continue this now on Patreon and dig into it further. But I am trying to keep my videos short, guys. So this is the main energy of what's going on in the karmic situation. I will get one more card to give us some further details as I move forward. And it's definitely saying that there is a lack of confidence in this situation, though there is a knowing that, you know, things are changing here. People are not happy. Um, I'm seeing the trapped energy here. But with the sacral chakra in reverse, this is about people not actually speaking up about their truth and not being confident enough to... Um, to do what their intuition is literally guiding them, whether it be the karmic or your person. Okay, guys, so that's the situation for now. Um, bye for now. Thank you. There we go. Hi, everyone. If you're on here, you are on my Patreon. Thank you so much for joining me. So, I mean, but it wasn't. It's not a happy one. So there's the reading for this Friday, guys. Let me know what you think of it. Bye for now.